Hey guys, Rob Murphy from Holistic Healing Choices here. Now, this weekend, I got to do something that I've been wanting to do that's been a goal for a long time. I got to actually attend an Oz Comic Con. Now, we've saved you all the worry about the journey and stuff, because it was about around, you know, a six hour round trip or whatever. So, let's dive right into the meat and bones of what we saw at Oz Comic Con. So, this was the scene we saw when we first entered the Comic Con. And there was even sewing machine sort of thing set up so that people could have a look and see what Singer were doing and pay attention to their cosplay. And cosplay there was. All shapes, sizes, huge weapons and assortments of various costumes that would have taken people hours upon hours to create. So it was awesome to see. And there were even a few TikTokers there. Uh, I don't know, TikTok had some sort of stand um, where it was like you were fighting. There was plenty of merchandise. Dragon Ball Z merchandise. Marvel had a whole thing right next to that that was about the journey of the hero. And there was a little bit from the Switch where you could sit down and play a bit of Mario Kart in the middle of the whole affair or give it a bit of a dance with Just Dance 4 or something like that which was constantly busy. And more merchandise and probably the best shirt in existence as well in there. As well as a beer pong table with all the different designs you could grab on the back there and posters for them. Now this was one of the first stars that we saw, uh, AJ Kappa from TV's Riverside. And it was just a general thing where people were asking him questions about the set, even up to about what his favorite type of ice cream was, or whether he prefers Nutella, or uh, whatever the hell the other thing was. Now this bit was pretty cool. So there was a big dome in the back, but, get to that in a second, the cars. So, there was a Honda CRV there, and right next to it was a Lego version of it. Complete, one-to-one -one scale, and they had a video in the background of how they made it. Because it had working lights, all sorts of stuff. So it was pretty bloody cool. So, that giant dome was a thing for Mountain Dew, where you could win a chance to go to the New York Comic Con with Skee-Ball. And Baraka was there and had its own little mascot where you, in a station where you could sit down and play against some Mario Kart champion that I've never heard of. Loser Pants or something. Then Star Wars had a massive TIE Fighter, like a life-size TIE Fighter there that was pretty bloody cool. As well as various other little things like uh, they had a uh, cosplay contest as well. They had pro gamers there doing their CSGO stuff. Then they had some anime people. Uh, people I never heard of but sat down, enjoyed hearing them speak about some of the famous anime that they've been in, such as Full Metal Alchemist, one of them was in. Then they had a whole wall full of previous guests and their autographs and stuff that you could buy. And this is as close as I got to Hayley Atwell. Shortly after taking this photo though, that lady in green standing in front of her shooed me away, screaming at me about <laughs> not being able to take photos. But all in all, Oz Comic Con was pretty cool. I would definitely go again, depending on who's there, who I want to see, and the spectacle of it. So. Get there, support these events, guys. If you're into it, do it. It's a great day out. They're in all around the country. And if you love it, do it. Anyway, guys, that's it from me. I will see you in the next video.